The government's announcement of £650 million into the fusion programme today is massive news for our sector. And I say that for four main reasons. One, the size. There has never been an investment like this into the fusion programme in the UK before. Two, the opportunity to collaborate. Right at the heart of the government's statement today was that whilst we're, this is a national programme, it's a national programme with global reach. And we really want to continue to work with our European partners, to continue to participate in ETA if we can find a way to do that, and indeed to strengthen our international relationships with a whole load of other collaborators too. The third reason is the investment into the fusion industry, into our private sector partners. Fusion will only reach commercialisation, it will only be delivered with engagement from companies. And this announcement today shows a huge input and investment into the development of capability in the fusion industry sector. And then the fourth reason is that this is an unparalleled investment in skills development for fusion. Um, and we, we really desperately need brilliant people to be working on tackling the challenges of fusion. And this gives us a skills programme to start to develop those people. The announcement represents almost a doubling of the fusion budget in one go. That means we will massively advance our field. New facilities, new capabilities, new R&D programmes, new investment into our industrial capability. All of that means that we will be able to go faster and to do more and to tackle the challenges that we have to make fusion a reality. The UK has always really been at the heart of international collaboration in fusion. We've operated JET on behalf of the whole European community now for more than 40 years. Um, and we will be doing, in fact, we are right now doing high power experiments in JET for only the third time in history. Um, we want that collaborative endeavour to carry on. We always want to be part of global partnerships. I think there is a huge amount that the UK can offer to ETA, but reciprocally, I think there's a huge amount that we will benefit from being in ETA. So we, we will be seeking pathways to continue our engagement with ETA project, um, and we think that that will be genuinely to mutual benefit. Also with our Eurofusion colleagues, for actually nearly three years now, we've not been formally members of Euratom, but yet the, the European community have found ways to engage us, to keep us as part of the programme and keep us central to developing the, the, the Eurofusion pathway to fusion power. And we really want that to continue. The announcement today means that we have the funding to keep doing that and to keep working with our European colleagues.